Welcome to the Love Your Marriage Podcast, hosted by Joseph and Crystal Gruber. We are here to awaken authentic Catholic culture through holy matrimony. And that begins with our marriage, and now yours. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Direct, O Lord, our actions by thy holy inspiration, and carry them on by thy gracious assistance, that every word and work of ours may begin in thee, and by thee be happily ended. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Welcome to the Love Your Marriage Podcast. I am Joseph Gruber, and today's show is a twist on a Chesterton quote. The Chesterton quote is, if you're familiar with it, that's wonderful. The quote is, let your religion be less of a theory and more of a love affair. Let your religion be less of a theory and more of a love affair. Which is a great quote. Love the quote. I think there's a lot of truth to it. I, I think sometimes you, you want to measure out, am I living in the abstract world or am I in a loving, living relationship with the Almighty God? And You probably want to weigh a little bit more on the second one than the first. The twist is what I want to propose to you, dear listener, Catholic men, women, married men, married women, wives and husbands. Let your love affair be a little bit more of a theory. Let your love affair be a little bit more of a theory. What do I mean by that? I mean, we associate love affairs with things just happening sort of spontaneously or by passion. And then there is this hope that spontaneity and passion will carry the day, that our relationship will be this ongoing love affair. And what I want to propose is that your marriage is actually worth a little bit of theoretical work. Your marriage is worth a little bit of stepping back and saying, what is it we're doing? What's working? How can we improve? What do we need to do today, this week, this month, this year to have the marriage that we both love? And that requires a little bit more theoretical work. Yesterday, I was meeting with my wife. We have a regular time to talk about important things and make decisions, aka a family meeting or a weekly meeting or a team huddle weekly, whatever you want to call it. I like to call it a regular time to talk about important things and make decisions and have healthy conflict. That's what I like calling it because I like long names for things. But at one point, my wife was talking about, you know, really, if we want to wake up early to get the things done that we want to get done, that means we actually have to rethink our evenings and the routines around that. And my face fell and she saw it immediately. I was like, I just, I, I feel like we, we keep on thinking about how these things ought to happen, and I want them just to happen. I want them to just work. And I knew as I was saying it that that's just not how success will come about, that we actually have to talk it through. We have to come up with different ideas. How can we expedite the getting to bed so we can get up and have the day that we want? Like this makes, it does make sense, but I, I rail against it because I want my marriage to be more of a love affair than a theory. And sometimes I need to do the work of theorizing what will be best and then putting it into action. And we did last night because we had that import that, that set aside time, that regular time to talk about important things and make decisions. We were able to propose a different way of handling bedtime routines and chores such that we didn't make it to bed much earlier and we got up much more when we planned to. Even 15 minutes before my alarm went off, I was up and out of bed because I was I was cheating and setting my alarm later than it actually probably should have been. Anyway, all, all this is to say your marriage is worth taking some time to think through, to, to come up with if this isn't working, can we theorize a better way? Can we come up with a better way of doing things? How long will this take? If you want to do this on your own, you can. I, I really recommend having a regular time to talk to your spouse about these important things, to theorize about how to improve them. But yeah, you also should take some time on your own, even after you listen to this episode. This is a short episode. If you're listening to this on a commute, I recommend going to 1.5 or double speed so you have some extra time to think at the end of this episode. And think, where are the rough spots? Do we actually have a regular date night? Do we have a set-aside time for important discussions 
that is not our date night? Am I pleased with the way that we're running our family? Am I pleased with the way that our house is being run? Am I pleased with the state of our garage? Am I pleased with the state of our dining room table? If not, start theorizing. Start thinking through, okay, how did we get to this spot? What are our next steps? And then what can we do moving forward so we don't end up in this place again? This is theoretical work. This is not the stuff that comes about in a moment of passion. A fit of passion is probably not going to solve all of your problems. A fit of passion may solve some of your problems. I, I, would, not, I would not say run from uh, a fit of a passionate embrace with your spouse. I think that that actually has uh, a lot of going for it. But it will not solve everything. It will not. It might be delightful, but it may not solve everything. So I'm not saying let your love affair be only a theory or merely a theory, but I am saying let your love affair be a little bit more of a theory. Be willing to have a discussion in which both of you are not agreeing for a while because it's worth it. It's worth coming up with a better way. When I left home this morning, my wife was taking care of a couple of sick people in the house and uh, which is going to set back several of the routines that we had uh, hoped for. And she said, you know, I really love our marriage. I really love our life together. It's like, wow, you taking care of vomit and still loving it. That's incredible. That's a sign that she's been doing a lot of the work. She's been doing a lot of the theorizing about what will make the home the well-running place that we want it to be. Is our home perfect? Come up, come by and visit. No, it is not perfect. Is it improving? In some areas, yes, it is improving. In all areas, no. We can't improve in all areas at, a, at the same time. One at a time. Maybe, maybe two at a time. But there are a lot of areas to your life. You can't, you can't improve all of them all at once. That doesn't, that doesn't mean you should be led to despair. That means you have an ongoing project with the person that you chose to have ongoing projects with. That's, that's what your, your spouse is. Among many other things, your spouse is the one that you have decided to have conversations about how to have the life that you both love. This is, this is your chance. You, you have one life to live. You have one spouse to love. This is your chance to make a marriage that is worth the telling about, that is worth sharing, that is worth living together. And that will require a little bit of extra thought. And it may require changing habits, changing routines, changing ways of addressing problems as they come up, the timing of them. I mean, even, even instituting a regular time to talk about important things and make decisions is a huge relief for couples to be able to say, oh, we don't have to talk about this troublesome thing the moment that it comes to mind or the moment that it comes up. We can say, oh, let's talk about this at the time we've set aside to talk about important things. So both of us are in the right headspace to really address this head on, where we can have this time to be theoretical, to have this time to think things through. Whether that be on a Sunday afternoon or on a Friday morning or on a Tuesday night, whatever it is, having that time to be a little bit more theoretical. If you want to go above and beyond, take some time yourself to think through what you can be doing on your own to help your marriage thrive. I want to give you the rest of the, the commute or wherever you're listening to this to, to think about this. But before I let you go, I wanted to make an ask of you. We don't have very many listeners yet. We are a very small podcast. And you are a one, one of our listeners. By default, if you're hearing this, you are one of our listeners. So I'm going to ask you to share this episode. If you want to go on Facebook or Instagram, find us at our outpost and share this episode. Uh, usually we have a post about it and usually we have a, um, we'll have a story like the day of on Instagram and on Facebook. 
So to share it, also to rate and review it. If this is providing some benefit to you, let other people know that it is a beneficial podcast. If you don't let them know, they'll never find it and they'll never derive the benefit that you've been deriving. So rate and review, share it, you know, send a text message to, to your spouse, say, hey, I think we should have a regular time to talk about important things and make decisions. And I think we should let our love affair be a little bit more of a theory or words to that effect. I, I trust you to be able to verbalize the content of this with your spouse. So that's the ask. A couple of announcements. We have a few events coming up. We now have an events page on our website uh, on ouroutpost.org slash events. So we're having a husband retreat at the beginning of November 2024. And then a week later in 2024, November 9th, a wife retreat, just a one day thing really going after this idea of happy spouse, happy house, or happy wife, happy life, or happy husband, happy something rhyming with band. Um, So we have those coming up. We're going to be doing some workshops coming up online, which will be accessible to anyone. The, The retreats are going to be local, as in in Jackson, Michigan. If you're anywhere within like a two or three hour drive, it might be worth making a giant day of it. I think I think that's what we have right now. Your marriage is worth loving. Your spouse is worth thinking about. And know that we are on your team. If you're a Catholic married man, a.k.a. a Catholic husband, if you'd like 45 minutes with me, I'll drop a link in the show notes as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been a production of Our Outpost, a ministry to awaken authentic Catholic culture through holy matrimony. Please like, share, subscribe, rate, and review if you found this helpful and encouraging. Find out more at OurOutpost.org.